right? Oh, I got it. Is that Steve Carlton or Tug McGraw? Okay. Yeah. If you like Tug McGraw. I think that's Pat McGroin. You like my favorite song. All right, the act brought to you by Roback. We love Roback. Best fit, best feel, the quality, the comfort material. They got the best hoodies in the game. Got them here right beside me. I love the Roback hoodies. They're light. They're fluffy. They're Shorts. comfortable. Talk about the shorts. Shorts. Is the season. Shorts are so good. The joggers are great. The shorts, the polos, the quarter zips. They got everything. Use code YAK at Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off all performance hoodies, joggers, and polos with code YAK. Get ready for spring with Roback. Hi. Woo. Brandon, good to see you, brother. Where's Big Cat? He coming? He'll He's be here in five, five minutes. Okay. So the only time you're not on your phone is when you're off the show. Well, I was on Pick Central, so I, oh. I didn't get I don't get any group text between on Pick Central. Um I'm Matt locked. McCusker is also in the office. I wanted to say hi to him person to person. I have to be on this show, so I'd like him to come in maybe for a second. That'd be nice. He does Matt and Shane's podcast. Do you, do you just want to do a one on one with him? Yeah. <laughs> Actually up. would. Well, you'd like us to step out? Why I you would. If okay. you guys would all shut the fuck up. Careful. Kyle, you look muscular <laughs> as hell today. I mean, shockingly muscular. I'm training so hard. I'm not gasp. training. For I got anything, a text from two so different hard. people. Uh, photos of you meditating. What? I just did yoga nidra. So MB caught you in Malice. It is unreal how well this works. Where's your guy? Who's this? Oh, oh yeah. Yo 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 yo. All right. So this is Matt. So it's, oh, it's pop, pop in, pop in for a second, dude. Yeah, have a seat. Hey, how's it going? What's up, brother? Yeah, I'll have back. Out back. Out back. Outback steak. Have some. Make a plate. What's up, guys? What's up, brother? How are you feeling? How you doing? Up. This is the doing? yak, dude. This is a. This, this is, is a, the yak. Another show that we do. The famous uh, case races have all happened in here. Oh. Yeah, we were thinking about doing a five five gram headband. Uh, mushroom race with you in here or something like that i'll do it it's not gonna be a race that's gonna just be a <laughs> fucking people can what is this field. five grams of mushrooms and put a, a blindfold on oh man just really find yourself i would go three five in here you're gonna get fucked up dude haven't you done i feel like you're yeah, the first that. person i've i've heard that did that i know other people who've done it but yeah i did the blindfold and it was like <laughs> yeah dude you have to like come back into the world what to, like, remember what, like, money was, it was, you know, that'd be, <laughs> having five people doing that would turn completely... <laughs> why do you wear the blindfold? What does that do? Uh, halfway through, I just I was like, why am I... But it, it, the idea is to kind of just, like, not be looking around at stuff, to just kind of close your eyes and just completely go within. Hell yes, how, long does, how long do you keep the blindfold on for? I kept it on for, like, two hours, and then I just got... Damn. I was... Well, I, you start tripping so hard that you're like... Why do I need rules about a blindfold? <laughs> <laughs> um, but it had like a mu- it had speakers built into it, so it had like I was just doing with yeah, my yeah. Monta sleep mask. Yeah, you so ever do yeah. like yoga nidra? I'll what is that? It's like breath work. It's like non sleep deep rest. <laughs> I've tried that. I kind of do that for naps if I drink too much coffee. Actually, it works so well to just if you want to fall asleep or feel like you're on the precipice of falling asleep, which isn't good now, but I feel very calm. When you do a lot of like deep breathing instead of napping, it's just like the deep inhale through the nose, then long exhale through tight lips. Well, that dude, it's uh, yeah, because you don't pretty much wake up. You never like center yourself and like actually chill. You wake up and you're like, Bleh. yeah, no. Lamare, come on in. Lamare, <laughs> come on in, brother. Yeah, absolutely. No, oh my god, stop. I got this. Yeah, I have a seat. Sass, is this who you you've talked about? Lemaire? Lemaire? Yes. This is Lemaire. Yeah. Heard great things. It's Lemaire. He's been pillaging your guys' free stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You take a steak and lobster, too. You can, take one. bro. Seriously, take one. Yeah, We're sponsoring Outback. So this is, uh, that would be, that would be appropriate. They just drop you a steak and lobster every week? Uh, well, no, every day. Every day. Not every day. You guys are going to get gout. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah, it is bad, but not if it's just the lobster. The lobster will get us right. Too much steak. Can you get uh, gout from, from I lobster? I more shellfish, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Brandon, are you, have you had any gout or gout scares? Gout's cropped up every now and then. I, I feel like you've defeated it. it at this point. Uh, yeah, what with all the other issues, I haven't it. noticed the gout. You have metabolic issues? Huh? You have like type 2 diabetes and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got one of the types of diabetes. You got one of the types? Yeah. Type 2, probably. <laughs> <laughs> two. <laughs> I wanted Lemaire and and Brandon to meet because I did. I shook his hand. Yeah, they talked wrestling. They talked wrestling. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, he was wearing. You were wearing a Stone Cold Steve it's, Austin shirt earlier. It's under this one. I still got. 
<laughs> Remember that top, brother. There it is. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. 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 We're about to head off and do uh, Mr. Matt and Jane. So. <laughs> okay. yeah, that's, their, that's these guys' pod. Yeah. What else is going on, bro? You look you look strong. Thank you, man. I mean, I've been working out, dude. Uh, nothing, man. I'm just trying to, you know, be a dad. Yeah. How's it going? Dude. Good. I love it. Honestly, it's my favorite thing ever. Just what do you got? Two. Yeah, it's my favorite thing ever. This other dude, Big Cat, just popped out his third. He was telling me, dude. Yeah, he's the other day. That's crazy. Yeah, he's yeah, rules. Crazy. Once you have one, then two. Two's a lot. By if you have a third one, it's like whatever. He's sitting on four. He's sitting on four. You're trying to get five. Yeah. Once you get to uh, once you get to once you get past two, it's all the same. Well, you don't I'm terrified no, for two. I'm pregnant with my second, and I'm yeah, like congrats. freaking out, dude. It's it's it sucks because their nap schedules don't link up. So, yeah. but it's like, I, what I think kids do is like, so you, if you don't have kids, you're just like staring ahead at like you're like I'm gonna die one day, my life's pointless, blah 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 blah, and you freak out. Then you have kids, and like because like you're if you don't have kids, you're just facing like you know just like the edge of an abyss. When you have kids, you just turn around and you don't look at the abyss and you just stare at these little kids. Then you just go ah, and you fall off one day. Like, kind of lose that fear, right, guys. <laughs> Your own mortality, kind of, yeah, dude. I just got I caught like up. Your your uh your calves are huge, bro. Thank you, man. You got big you, ass. Yeah, what do you do? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I took one of our steaks. Bears <laughs> going to town. Are you are you working calves or just hey, genetically? Just linebacker legs, dude. Fuck. Running the hills of Garden Valley, dude. bro. You have no chance. Yeah, I'm small. I mean, I I'm small for my family too. Is he jacked. He's pretty jacked. Show, show yeah, off your ass. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, show off your ass. Matt, your ass. a little spin around. <laughs> well, my, the, the squats are going to my ass and not my quads. Let me see you're working with. He's been looking ridiculously jacked today. Yo, oh, dude. God. Oh, oh man. See that ass. Turn around. Do a 360. Yes. Oh, you got a Brazilian butt lift, dude. Let me see. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy <laughs> damn, bro. Oh, my goodness. Thing's poking. That's my crazy. God. Mary, you like apple bottoms. Pretty nice, dude. Why are you asking him out? <laughs> I just think it's funny it's that he's chowing right? down. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big ass, right? Yeah, I love enjoying an ass with a mill. <laughs> yeah. Dude, well, we won't keep you guys that Dude, I'm going to come back up. Let yeah, me come back up. Come back up. Come back up. Do, do boy them. I love both these guys. I was talking yeah. to them before. Dude, the funny, the fact that LaMare drives Matt around is... Kind of tell Wait, what you ridiculous. <laughs> that podcast he pulled over. Can do. He just, he's <laughs> in his own car. Matt's car, he like he's like he gets out and he's like, Lamar, you drive. And he just let, sits in the shotgun. Tuesday's my microdose day, so I let the mushrooms kick in and then I'm like, Lamar, take the wheel and he's you know. So they hit me when we're on like ninety five in New Jersey. I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it wears off. I'm wearing the George Washington. I'm like, All right, I'm ready to roll. That's fucking sick. Good for you. Good for you guys. You got a little thing figured out. Yeah, man. It's one thing. I got my transportation figured out. That's about it. <laughs> a little That's thing, sick. dude. What the hell? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? We got a little thing figured out. What the that was hell? Yeah, bro. Yeah. What do you well, mean? Yeah. Well, Lamar's Lamar, Lamar, not. Lamar's been smoking cigarettes and eating junk food this whole time. <laughs> He's taking it out on you. Hey, you're on edge, bro. You have a steak in front of you. <laughs> I'm a fast state. I'm a fast state on Lamar? mushrooms, dude. Lamar, the fuck I, you have a little thing figured this, out. We, don't, we <laughs> brought you together to talk about your cigarettes and junk food, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smoking cigs, Lamar? No, I mean, you rip the fucking cig, dude. I don't want to say anything, but a pack on you right now. You've said it twice. Did want to say something? I I have to. I am so judgmental about cigarettes. I'm trying not to be. Every time someone smokes them, I'm always like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Yeah, you got a Gardini. He's got a, he's a, he's a I'm in his ass about it, dude. Guy. I'm in his ass. I feel like that just disappointed Kate. I love cigs so much. She's fucking pregnant, dude. No, but if I could, I would. I huff time. secondhand smoke on the street. Like, do you I really? love it. Do you love cigs or do you hate not being, not smoking cigs? I love, like, if I found out I had, like, terminal cancer tomorrow, I would just start smoking again. Just enjoy the shit out of it. Yeah, I can't yeah. really get worse. Yeah. Yeah. You could also just. Anyways, I don't like the smell of cigarettes, but I like when someone smells like cigarettes. Yeah, that weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Your mom and dad smoke? No, but I like when someone like you could tell like they just have, they've just been in a cigarette. My yeah. dad smoked Marlboro Reds, and the mm. smell of it, I think, I'm like, oh, we're on the way to the Phillies game. Yeah. Memories. All right, you guys are the best, dude. I'll be back. Let me come back in a couple weeks. Yeah, totally. Whenever you guys are up. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice. Yeah, be very good, but I'll try. Case race, dude. You guys, you guys saw the other side of that when Shane, the first one. Yes. When you saw him, like I, I think you guys podcasted the next day. Yeah, we did. He was. Yeah, when Shane was like, "Yeah, this sucks." In Everyone rough shape, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone hated all of us after that one. We all bounced back. Yeah. Yeah. You guys did a brave thing. You guys are pushing, going to new frontiers. 
Yeah, no five guys blacked out, dude. <laughs> Live on camera. <laughs> Nothing bad's gonna it. happen. Yeah. Four hours. <laughs> Everybody see it. You guys, thank you guys, man. Appreciate thank you, man. Yeah, come back yeah. soon. Uh, what do Easy. I do with this? Put that steak down. Take it with you. Take it with you. Take it with you. Use your hand. Why are you using the knife and fork? Just use your hand, brother. I'm not. I'm not a savage. Yeah, take it with you. <laughs> Do you want one, Matt? You want a steak? I'm good. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for your stuff. See you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Taking the whole thing. He's gonna take it. It's a great ad. With him. <laughs> great out back ad. Thanks you. Thank you guys for indulging that. Those guys are the best. Yeah, the man there is so funny. I mean, the fact that like the idea they on their podcast because I subscribed to their Patreon. They uh, they told the story, but yeah. Lemaire got pulled over driving Matt's car while Matt was sitting shotgun. Yeah. It's like a hilarious. I smoked at five in the morning. Yeah. (laughs) To the cop. The cop was like, are you high? He's like, I smoked at five in the morning. (laughs) And Sass, Lemaire, when you hung out with the Bills, he was the one who you said was like hilarious just saying. Is that? Yeah. He was like, uh, he was the one that said, I'm the king of the games. (laughs) <laughs> like oh what was he playing at Dave and Buster's He's playing Guitar Hero huh. or he asked one of the uh, he asked the the Bills like what they search on YouTube oh yeah <laughs> he asked we were at the we had went to like the team dinner and he was sitting next to some dude on the Bills I forget who it was and he just turned to him and he was like well he said besides aside for being black what do you think me and you have in common <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the guy was like. I have no fucking idea. And then, like, 10 minutes later, he turned. He's like, what was the last thing you searched on YouTube? <laughs> That's, a f- <laughs> That's a good icebreaker. That is a good icebreaker. icebreaker. Find out a lot about someone. Yeah. What was the last thing you guys searched on YouTube? Shit. You can probably find out right now. Yeah. Sega Genesis? The hell? Sega I watched some Genesis? Weird, I watched some weird shit on YouTube. I watched what people play old video games. I didn't know Outback was back. Back. Today, I think. I think it's today. It's the, I think it's oh, this oh that's kind of mean that they're doing that. No. Wrecking Ball Tuesdays, compilation. Oh, Tuesdays? That. Okay. I was going to say, I was missing out back, and then it came back. My last search is Pick Central. Ooh. Why? What? Yeah. You wanted to see Max break that chair? Big fan. No, because I didn't know where everyone was, and I wanted to see if you guys were all on Pick Central, because no one was here. When? could have just walked by yeah. the room. Or I could just search it on my phone. I was on my phone. Mine is the ending to the movie The Snowman. Because they ran out of budget, and so they just stopped the movie. <laughs> oh, damn. The fuck? Yeah. Wait. So it just ends. Yeah. Is it really noticeable? Like it, Apparently, it's the worst movie ever. It's Michael Fassbender. It's about, hmm. like, a murderer. It was based off a book, and I guess they ran out of budget. Just ended the movie. Put it out. Out of hell. I still think that the ending to that, what was the movie, the one that you made the joke about, the 9-11 one? Oh, Remember Me. Yeah. It's like, I, I think about that constantly. Yeah. I cry laughing. Yeah. That's an all-time ending. And what happens um, there? It's not. It ends with 9/11. 9/11. It's just a normal movie, and then it just it's pans a, it's, out. It and could have just ended. Or it's on like, 9/11. nah. Let's add a little zest. <laughs> it's so insane. Let's sprinkle in. <laughs> it just pans. It just zooms out, and they're just in the twin towers. And then as it like it like shows the teacher like writing the date. Date. <laughs> and then like it it cuts back to Robert Pattinson. What? Yeah. And he. Is on, on the floor that he probably got hit with the front of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really on the floor. Like, kiss we Mohammed Atta. He, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he made eye contact with him. And he was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a nuts ending. That and the ending to The Mist. You guys have ever oh, seen Oh, yeah, that? when the tank just blows up everyone? No, like, The Mist is, oh. like, overtaken, and this guy's in the car with a gun and four bullets, and he, he kills, kills his, his family. Yeah, he kills his family. And he steps out, he's like, come get me. And then, like, the military's like, you're safe now. And like saves them. That's how that movie ends. Yeah, I don't I think that's a bad ending. End. That's a bad ending. <laughs> no, that made me feel bad. I'm trying to think of it, any any it's a bad, deeply really bad impactful endings. ending. I, I really think. Can we watch that the 9/11 one? Because that one is, I mean, probably to not. show it's 9/11. It, there's a teacher just writing September. His 11th. sister. Yes, on the board. His sister was so bullied in school. <laughs> like it shows to her, like all these girls cut her hair at a sleepover. So it cuts to her in class with her hair all janky, and. uh they say it's 9 11. <laughs> yeah, wait, watch this, watch this. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday, September. <gasps> and then there he is, his dad's <laughs> office. <laughs> oh, man, it's Mamas? so funny, dude. This is nuts. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> this is this crazy. Has, this has nothing to do with the rest of the movie? No, I was saying more movies wait. should end like this. <laughs> wait, it has nothing to do with this ending? No. <laughs> Staring longingly into with, and like That's the, the ending. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what? Christ. What? Roll credits. Right at the top. Uh. But like the thing is the whole thing is he just made amends with his dad. He's meeting his dad in his office. His dad can't make it. Yet. He's like just wait for me. Oh no. And it, and, but everything was going good. It could have ended. 
They don't show the. It shows like <laughs> there. Okay. That's the end of the movie. No, I think it shows like all his friends looking at like from the rooftop. Like what? Wasn't he there? Oh yeah. God! Hey, keep playing. Keep playing. Play oh, no. There's his dad. Like oh fuck. He d- looks like he should have yeah. been a little more upset. Look, How does he smile? Yep. Six soul. Is that Hillary Duff? Nah. Is that Max? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. That was literally Dad's office. Oh that exact man. window. That was her nine eleven reaction. What yeah, are you? She's not that sad. What are you drinking? Oopsies. Yerba mate. Huh. Cool guy drink. I've been I've been a mate drink. head lately. It's, it's definitely like you. You're like, oh, is he drinking a beer? Is that the grass shit? The South Americans drink. What yeah, is it? it? Might be. I don't know. It's just uh, it's the jitteriest energy you can get. I I've weapon. been just exhausted. Yeah, that's what the Argentine Who's se- team. Secret weapon? Messi. Messi? The Argentine team. Uh, national team. The World Cup shipped like hundreds of pounds of yerba mate. I've been doing like twenty two thousand steps a day. It's like wow. four hours of walking. Damn. Wow. Why? Right. Why? Holy shit! I just saw like a a men's health article of like a body transformation from it. And I'm trying to, because I tried to run, and my my legs are too too weak, and so I'm starting out with this. Did you get shin splints? Uh, uh, it's a weird like band thing. My my calves are stronger than my quads. Wow, <laughs> which is hard. <laughs> which is really hard. Genetically, to do. almost yeah. impossible. Because like standing like the, up, that works game, it out. the the keyboard game with the runner. Uh, quop. quop. Yeah, quop. Yeah, yeah. Quop, trying like to run. Quop. Yeah. And so like my out this outer band, they're like, yeah, you can like foam roll it and keep running. It like, band. Yeah. Um, Gotta keep that. But uh, so I'm just walking a ton and uh, I'm exhausted all the time. Damn. Walk to work today. Walk back. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be nasty with quap. Oh. Oh. There's you're, okay. You're a little game. bit better than me. It's, it's a hard game. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's the yeah. hardest game ever. Hey, Ron, did you um, did you jet ski in the East River yesterday? On Saturday. What was that like? Yeah, that's insane, dude. It was fucking sweet. Was it? Jet skis are powerful. Yeah. Yeah, but in the, awesome. I see them in the river all the time, and I'm always like, what person would do that? Eva Mendes. You. Me. Wait, what changes? Hitch. It? Why does Hitch. the river change the jet ski? Well, I think it's, it's kind of dirty, and oh, also it's fall like. In? Mm-mm. I'm sure it's like a wet. shitload of boats. There like is a decent boats. amount of boats. Yeah, big boats. Like tankers and. You have to kind of like weave Dirties. through the fucking tankers. You kind of feel invincible on a jet ski, too. It's one of the more invincible vehicles. Uh, I mean, my wife was like hanging on the back because she didn't feel like drive. I'd want to be. I want to. I'd want to feel the power of just myself yeah. on that thing. Was it fun? Did you get wet? Uh, not very wet, but like a little bit of splash. But you could wear a dry suit if you wanted to. But I felt like that would be a pussy move. Yeah. So I was like, just let the rain fall down and yeah, a big wash thing. Or did you just okay. wake up and decide, hey, let's go rent jet skis? I see people doing it all the time. Yeah. Same, same yeah. as Big Cat, and I was like, kind of looks sweet. Like a jet ski is. That look always looks super fun from afar. It does. It may be a. It might look a little bit more fun than it is, but it's I still very accurate. fun. I, but it looks like a ten, and it's really like an eight. You know, why is why does it get fun. ding two points? I think that it gets old quick. As, as really, a, it's just so. like the the Choppy? trying trying not to fall off is annoying. Yeah, and oh, I like guess trying a horse and having like some like yeah, just like. Have my wife be like, "Hey, please don't like flip us into the river." Yeah, mm. that was like, I, like you, gotta, you were like it was on her a fault. smooth glass <laughs> lake. I feel like that'd be chill. Yeah, but that yes. gets, it gets crazy. It's choppy there, and it's yeah. gross, and there's dolphins and whales too. They said, wow. "Are there?" Yeah, dolphins like regularly. They said they see dolphins. Oh yeah, I remember there was a whale right by the Statue of Liberty. Remember that? And there was uh, they posted because like whales shouldn't be that far into the East River. And there was one reply that was like, "It's so cold in that water. We got to get it a blanket or something." <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! Like some well, fucking ridiculous, like, cold blooded, bleeding heart, like yeah. liberal in New York, being like, "That whale. We need to save the whale." Yeah. I saw a whale in Iceland, or multiple whales actually. Whoa! What did yeah. you see? The full body, or just what were their names off the off the coast? I'm so jealous. I've always wanted to see a whale. It was cool. You know what I want to see is I want to see a shark. I want to see a great white shark. I went whale watching in Hawaii, and all I saw was a whale take the biggest dump ever. Oh, really? Does that awesome. work, dude? With the the boat, uh, the the captain was like, "Here's a whale on your left," and everyone starts looking left, and then all of a sudden, the the ocean just turned like brown. Out of it, it was like, "Oh, Amos? looks like the whale." I don't know. It was it was like right below the surface, 
but the whole ocean just yeah. turned like dark brown. They must take insane yeah. shit. Insane. I think one of their shits fills like a whole septic tank. Yeah. 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 Whales are huge. They are, aren't they? Big. Yeah, wait, you can get a lot of money for whale poop, and there's scientists who like follow whales around. Trying to uh, get their poop? Catching their the poop. poop. Like, that's their thing. that goes into perfume. Isn't there a thing you get from whale shit that goes into uh, perfume? Lipstick is is whale. It's, yeah, it's like Chanel number no. five, I think, uses something from. I think whale oil shit. from Or no, whale. Whale, whale vomit is very expensive. Oh, yeah, maybe that's. There's something that they yeah. collect from whales that goes for like yeah. a ton of money, so people like follow them it's around. Whale and puke. Collect. That's and then these whales start be. purging, trying to make some money. Yeah. Sticking a fin down their throat. Mm-hmm. Yep. Granted, the whales are sexier. 200 liters. liters. No, really? Poop? Yeah. Damn. How big is that? Big. What's like a 200, 200 liter That's liter. like 102 liters of coke. Oh, yeah. Holy think fuck. of that. Think of or that's like 201 liters. Yeah. 201 Coke. liters of Dr. Pepper. It's like Dr. 400 Shout out liters. Waco, Texas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Shout out the cross. Seven thousand per pound. Holy shit! Whales no pee two hundred and fifty-seven gallons per day. Probably Sweet. nothing for them. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a little insane. drizzle. Do you think they drink intentionally, or is it just a passive thing that happens? You know yeah. what I? You know what I did this weekend? I was driving back from West Virginia, <laughs> pissed while driving. Oh, that's right! I forgot you were there. How was it? Yeah. Have you guys ever done that? Pissed while driving? Yeah, took, All the time. Took me a long time. I. Uh, it's so. I don't long. have the the concentration. Yeah. Dude, I, I I was insane. Any drizzle? No, I put my balls and my dick lie. into a into a <laughs> yes like paper coke. What the fuck was that sentence? Why'd you put your <laughs> balls, in balls into in a, a paper and coke? coke? Like you know, like a like a fountain drink. Why wouldn't you just Wait, why, why you wouldn't you just your use your shaft? Why your you balls? Let, in you there? laid your balls inside of a cup. I wanted the, all of it in there so there was no drip. <laughs> Do you piss out of your balls? No, but sometimes it's bouncing off the ball. Why were you still drive? Why didn't you pull over? You, and go to an you, you laid your balls it's inside it of a cup. It saved me like two hours. Like that waxy at night? Time, like the waxy Pepsi Was this cups? at night? No. Or it was in the daytime. Okay. You rested your balls. I was balls in a low car. Low car. Inside. Everyone could see. Did the did the piss reach your dick and balls? Yeah, how much piss did you piss in the cup? Uh, a lot. So, so were your balls floating in your piss? I had to yeah, were you dipping down. your balls in your own piss? Oh, I slowed down and I... I don't understand the Ew! ball. Wait, Wait a you minute. You kept going? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I didn't do that. But no, it, it yeah, was a big did. cup. It was a big cup. Big gulp. But uh, but the angle of it, you have to kind of like, if you're sitting, you know, I went like this. I put my, you know how there's like the thing on the side where you rest your left foot? I, I pushed up against that and I would like stood with like all my strength. <laughs> cruise control? Yeah. No. Oh, you didn't do cruise control? So you were using you're your right down foot. down to like 30? I was going to 80. What? Why didn't you do cruise control? I don't know how. How did you pull like, over? I don't know how to do cruise control. my car. Why wouldn't you just like it's pull still, over? Yeah. It's what did Francis what? say sitting next to you? Francis wasn't with me. Francis I'm bailed down. on that. Wait, what? What? Francis bailed on you? Oh, so bad. In West Virginia? No, we went to West Virginia. So I drove to West Virginia. And Why? the only reason I drove was because you Francis- wanted to piss in the car. <laughs> I wanted to piss in the car. Yeah. Francis- <laughs> Was like, hey, we should drive because I have to go to the air. He's flying in from Most Dangerous Colorado. Games. So I picked him up at the airport. And it took me, I left at 1130. I got to him around 6. Oof. And it's only a four-hour drive. But for some reason, it stopped traffic the entire way there and back. And then we get to the venue. And Francis is like, by the way, I should have told you this ahead of time. I'm actually not going back to New York because I'm going to Maryland. So you can just drop me off at this place and I dropped him off 10 minutes into the drive home and it was an 8 hour drive home. <laughs> hey, it was 4 hours there. No, it was it was it was like 7 hours there. Really? To all the traffic. Town? It was 8 hours coming home? 8 hours. I left at 10:30, got back around 7. What? Mother's Day weekend traffic is crazy. In the middle of the night? Oh, wait, no, this is the middle of the day. day. On Sunday. And dude, I it, this was like that's why I peed in the cup because it, every time I would stop, I would stop for like I would like run and get gas, like pull over, get gas, and instantly get back in my car and get on the road. And it would be like you just gained two hours on the trip. I just uh, don't know. Cruise control is very easy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to do, do it. You ever use con- cruise control? Why not? I never, never used, used it. it. Never. I never. Used it was one of those. It's literally afraid. built for peeing in bottle. Set button. That's all you just press set. Oh, it's so nice when you get it when you get an open highway. You can go cruise control. 
This was never an open highway, though. It was, it was stopped the entire time. Like, you'd, you'd go, like, five minutes open highway and then stop. I still hours think you stopped and pissed. I couldn't. So have. you didn't piss this at, uh, even, because I have probably pissed while driving 50-plus times. Yeah, I mean, I, I struggle. I don't think i ever not pissed on myself at least a little bit. Because you're not putting your balls in the paper. Right, paper. I guess I got to start doing that. How much of your pants did you have down? Just the fly. Just the fly? Yeah. And you Sometimes no I'll dribble. piss in a bottle when I don't even like. But the bottle is way different. When I'm close to being home, just because it's fun. Yeah. See, I can't. It took me a while to get the stream going. Yeah. I have a shy bladder. People see you? I don't think so. If anything, they would have just seen the cup around my <laughs> jock, my crap, my crotch. <laughs> Your jock. I peed in my car, was but not driving. Com- Wait, completely. What? Yeah. What? What? The fuck? Yeah. Side. What? I have peed in my car so many times. You what? guys have while driving? Not while, wait, no, no, not no, while driving. Got, we got to remind everyone. Kate, Kate doesn't, have, doesn't a have a penis. Right. What? No, I don't. See, that's and even I'll harder. I know. That's why you were like while driving. Like, no, the the you story even... here is no penis. So you just yeah. pissed all over yourself. Or it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, you pissed your pants in the car. Yeah, but in like Dunkin' Donuts cups, things with wide brims. What? If you're desperate. You and in the like front a... seat, I squat. I have a little. That's crazy. No, but they could you could use like a boba straw. They have sheepies. Have you ever heard of a sheepie? Like, like a, little, a bag? Yeah, I would little. imagine a girl Straw. needs a trash yeah. bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that like a go-go? a trash bag? A go-go? Yeah, go-go it's like cup? a sheep pee, but I don't have one. But Girls it's... pissing is like a fire hydrant exploding. <laughs> and I'll tell There's you. There's no stream. It's just spraying Your muffs everywhere. Too. You oh, yeah, there you go. Sometimes it goes sideways. Oh. Like rain in Vietnam. Yeah, you would need a funnel. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I didn't, I've never, I don't have a funnel. Wait, so you guys, have you guys not pissed? While driving, it's fun. I have done maybe. I've never been in a situation where that was even a close. To oh, it saves so I much have, time. But it's not, it's not fun. I get the same thing he does, where I will get everything situated, I'll get everything ready, and then my my dick just won't piss. Yeah, oh, really. Oh. That's what happened to me when we were driving to the Hamptons. Remember? Oh yeah, I'm just begging it to piss, just begging yeah. anything to come out. Because once it gets started, I'm good, but I just can't start. You do it. the breathing. No, I, you know, I had to push. Like I felt like I was giving birth. I had to like uh, like my face must have been so red because of how hard I was trying to pee. Just, like, I could just pee at any time. Did anyone else's family keep like a bucket in the car growing up for road trips? No, road trips. no that yeah, is for throw up. Yeah. insane. Okay, like a <laughs> shit and piss like bucket. A plastic treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, go to the back of the van. Is it the treasure chest? That is insane. Kate. Hey, yeah, we did. We did. You did? Had okay. A shit like a bucket. Trash bag around it. Yeah, yeah. And then you dump it at the for, next. No, day. for throwing up. In case we got car sick. Oh, we like piss. Piss was for Oh, you would pee in it? You just had a big ass jug of piss. I was expecting yeah, like to sloshing around. around. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a speed bump. We went to the Poconos a lot. It was a long drive. I think my dad got tired. It's of an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The Poconos are an hour away. Queens is closer. That's Queens nuts. Farther. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a bag for an hour drive? No, I've been. I won't stop. But listen, right in, the bottle. in the Northeast where you guys have lived, there's not big stretches of highway without places to stop. I know, but it's there's places you're normally stop crowded. Constantly. They're normally so super crowded. It's the act of stopping that slows you down. Yeah. It, it, Making at good this time. point, the drive was so long. I would rather stop and use an actual bathroom. Though. I'm with Brandon. I've never had that problem never. where it's like I've I cannot afford to to stop. Oh, I, I love had to be back. I had shows. Wait, you do it for stand. love. I do it for love, but I also love when like if you're doing. Like, I've done, like, you know, like, Chicago to Cleveland's about, like, six hours and zero stops is the best feeling. That's, I think my dad was, like, addicted to that. Like, yeah, it was, like, he just wanted up to your see how tank. far just we don't go. pee. Yeah. No, I'll pee in a, No, you got to pee. I, whenever I take the train back to Pittsburgh, that's, like, seven, eight hours. I don't pee. You're not hydrated. No, I, I intentionally don't beforehand. That's crazy, because when, when I'm on road trips, I drink a shit ton of water. Just so you can put your balls inside of a cup. Yeah, you just you like the waxy feel of the interior yeah. of a Pepsi cup. I think I figured it out. You, you guys rest are, them like so, no. You guys are shaming the idea. There's These a body armor I, bottles I, I are the best. Funny. There's a reason I didn't get any dribble. These body armor bottles are literally built. Yeah, but my thick cock yeah. can't fit in this. <laughs> I, I I can fit. I fit <laughs> oh yeah, I fucking body. believe you, dude. <laughs> I believe you. Too. I believe it's <laughs> really thick. <laughs> I believe you too. We never talked about this, but I believe it is. No, my thing would fit. In here easily. We could fit both of our penises. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there would be yeah. room for a third. You pee in them. <laughs> Dude, I just take the well, ink put it on the wheel. Out of a big pen. <laughs> you pee the body armor. <laughs> Shove your balls in a body armor. We could all fit our dicks in that one yeah. body armor. Yeah. <laughs> and it's begging for it. Yeah. 
No, Brandon couldn't fit his in a salad bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Dick too big, bro. I actually shouldn't uh, shame you, Kate, too, because I was cleaning out my car like maybe a couple years ago and I found a bottle of piss. So yeah. I was just driving around with for. That's the only acceptable thing to litter. A bottle, bottle of piss? piss. Yeah. 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 You can't litter anything else, but you got some piss in your car. Yeah. Yeah, because imagine recycling that. Just like dumping out your piss bottle and putting it in recycling. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I'd be in the. I'd imagine top recycling top gets like cleaned, right? Concert. I'm not drink. I don't want to drink out of a piss. What the fuck, Kate? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Say that again. Uh, over at MetLife. Camden. Oh, MetLife. No, MetLife. But oh. like, I was in the nosebleeds at Kenny Chesney. The bathroom. You had to go like all the way down, and I was like, everybody look away. And I just pulled my jean shorts, my jorts over, and I just pissed in a cup. You're a real piece of shit, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's trash. Yeah, that's crazy. Trash, yeah. yeah. Trash. Yeah, that they is definitely did. Move, People though. didn't look away. It was Kenny Chesney. No, I yeah. peed on a bus that didn't have a bathroom on the way to the um, the Subway Series at the Met Stadium. This was a long time ago. Oh, but then I just had the cup. You know, then you just have a cup full of pee. Yeah. When you watch like Always Sunny and it's like Charlie Charlie Day's character, like are you like that's like a biographical of your life? I feel like <laughs> when you gotta go. Did you huff paint a lot? <laughs> Yes, yes. You did? Yeah, I did huff things. Like night crawlers? Yeah, yeah, I huffed. Yeah, yeah. Ass. We were yeah. a little into huffing. What is it when you huff uh, poop? Jankum. Jankum. Jankum, thank you. It's poop and piss, I think. Yes, yes. Digging to whippets was the thing. Oh, yeah, that whippets was fun. Hot ticket item. Whippets, like, make me uncomfortable. Like, I've never done them, like, watching people do them. Yeah. It looks like they're doing, like, fucking heroin or you something. You just, like, shit. kill a billion brain cells yeah. for yeah. two yeah. seconds. It looks like you're, like, kind of sick for yeah. ten seconds. I don't know, but all those people are, like, real estate agents now. Yeah. It didn't, didn't hurt them that bad. <laughs> all the whippet people are real estate <laughs> <laughs> They are. Dude. Real estate agents are having a fucking comeback right now. I mean, they're taking over social media. Anyone can... Uh, Seems like anyone can do that. Yeah, shit. <laughs> but uh, is it, are, aren't the uh, rates about to like top out or something like that? Are they? I don't know. I heard in the next couple months they're gonna top out. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know about. shit. I literally don't know. Worked it. I still don't know. Half the ones I went to high school with are posting like real estate cliffs. That watch. It's an Apple Watch. Is it? Yeah. It looks like a little. It looks elevated. It is a little elevated. Looks like it has like a frame around bevel. it or something. Yeah. You got a bevel on that? Yeah. Ice that oh. out. I should ice out an Apple Watch. It's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. What the fuck? It looks tactical, like digs. It's also a, a Mexican bracelet that I got from Mexico that's supposed to keep bad vibes away. <sighs> fuck and you gave me the saint, the gambling saint, and I... San Cayetano. I haven't done shit gambling. Is it time to get rid of the, the San Cayetano pendant? No, it's such a sick pendant. So good. It's a good-ass pendant. My wife got me a meteor. <laughs> See that? That's Believe a meteor. That. A meteor? What? It's a meteor rock what from the fuck? Uh, like h- hundreds of thousands of years ago. That's cool. <laughs> it is cool. You need less money, dude. There's a <laughs> that, that is a rich person <laughs> thing for <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that is fire. God damn. Meteor. <laughs> I, yeah, I need a meteor. <laughs> that sounds fucking dope. I'll be in meteor or something. Let's look Shit. It where did it? Where did Africa. it land? It you could Africa. still find pieces of it. Really? In Africa, yeah. Fuck. An Albanian What's meteor? the difference between a meteor and an asteroid? It might be an asteroid. I don't know the difference. I like meteors I break meteor up was for bigger. the most part. A meteor was more rock and asteroid was more... I thought an asteroid was <laughs> more <laughs> Flame and... Magic. Cosmic. <laughs> well, asteroid was just size related. Is it like... Do we have a, a lava magma situation? I think so. Uh, is there a difference? Magma is when it's still underground, but as soon as it hits air, it's lava. Oh. Oh. <gasps> a meteor is a piece of asteroid. Huh. And every week there's a tweet that's like, meteor that's triple the size of Earth predicted to hit Earth in 2027. Yeah. And everyone's like, fucking. There's always a quote tweet that's just like, fucking hit me now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah speed uh, it up. So it'll tweet their address. Yeah. <laughs> They're always measuring it in football fields, too. It's going to hit Robert Pattinson in his dad's <laughs> office. <laughs> Did you guys ever be in meteorite? That's what it's called. Seven thousand years ago. Holy Did shit. you guys ever buy into all that uh, Mayan calendar world ending like twenty twelve type deal? No. Yeah, I did. Oh, I was at you? soccer practice. Oh, but you did. I got a uh, a fortune cookie like the day before that was su- that essentially alluded to the end of days. 
And? The day before what? Still kicking. <laughs> the Mayan calendar, That's like, like world coming to an end. Remember the quote? That's a morbid fortune cookie. Could have done that uh, on purpose. I'll, in your I'll wallet? find it. I post, no, I posted it on social oh. media, like, a decade ago. <laughs> what the fuck? I was definitely just, like, someone, whoever's doing the fortune cookies was just fucking with someone, being like, someone's going to yeah. get this today. Yeah. I believe in, in uh, the turn of the millennium. When they were like all all the clocks. Y two K. Yeah, Y two K. I believed in that. You did a good job convincing us yeah. that yeah. was gonna happen. Like none of the computers they made know how to tell time. All the nukes are gonna go fucking flying in the air. We did really we believe, did you believe in that? No, I didn't, but we really underestimated computers. We really thought yeah. they were really dumb. Yeah. Nothing changed. We were no. like, oh fuck. Yeah, they we thought they didn't know how to carry the one. <laughs> right. We yeah. thought they were really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> how stupid we is that? We were using them for everything. Like they're gonna th- it literally was can't like, carry the one. They're were gonna think it's grounded? zero years old again. <laughs> were flights grounded for like uh Y two K? I don't think so. Like hospitals uh, in a panic? Yeah, I don't or, like, know. I feel, I f- Some people's jobs were just prepping for I was a Y two K It was a big night for for people turning off all the lights. And pranking everyone. I was at a party that did that. Yeah. I think every, yeah. I think that literally was every place in America. Yeah. Just hit the fuse box. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's. And yeah, they really scared dumb. the fuck out of us yeah. then. We're the dumb. neighborhood parents got hammered that yeah. night. We had free reign. People were yeah, building bunkers, filling up their bathtubs. You guys were probably pissing uh, everywhere. I had my yeah, bathtub we were. Hey, you say that about every event. My mom used to love oh, the neighbor. Up. Yeah. The tables got hammered and we had free rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Tuesday. That's not a special occasion. Yeah, the Kentucky like. Derby. The garbage day. Yeah, garbage yeah. day. So I, I got not garbage day. <laughs> I got this fortune in uh, a Chinese takeout meal on December 21st, 2012, which was the day. I don't even remember this day. I remember it. I remember Never it. mind remember tomorrow, yeah. and then in all all capitals, today is the day. Oh, Very shit. ominous. And what you do? How do you react? I, I don't know, Jay. That food? seems fine. Oh, absolutely. If you're getting that on the rapture day? <sighs> yeah, I think they're just trying to pump you up. Being was like, a rapture oh. supposed to be in the morning? Or what? Uh, like they're waiting until everybody has dinner before they I thought it was night, and I was at soccer practice, and the sun was going down, and I was like, this is it. Better was score like this last sense? goal. Did you? Did you? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the rapture could make you good at soccer. <laughs> no, you know I once I remember I have such a vivid memory of playing soccer as a child and and going for like a header, and it just smacked me in the cheek and I like went down and I was like bleeding and shit from a soccer ball hitting your face. You was bleeding? high up, <gasps> and I was like six. Oh, no. Sharp ass soccer ball. I know. Yeah, what the fuck? How did you bleed from that? It smacked me in the face. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would make you bleed. <laughs> Soccer ball? No. Like, was your nose bleeding? I don't know what was bleeding, but there was blood. Like, your <laughs> face shouldn't be bleeding from a like soccer My ball. mouth, I think, was but bleeding. But that wouldn't oh. happen to follower in Bogdan. What was right? Did I get it right? Yeah. No. <sighs> I knew what you were what? talking about, though. Uh, the the soccer player we just got, the United States. Huge news. Father non? Who? Fa- father in something. <laughs> Balganon? Balogun. Balogun. How do we Balogun. get him? Yeah, what? We uh, got him. He's born. <laughs> nah, he decided he's, to play for a U.S. Yeah, instead of England. Really? Yeah. He Good had for three, him. Uh, three citizenships, so he just chose. Uh, what? He chose U.S. He did it like a fucking yeah. re- like a seventeen-year-old picking college. Yeah. yeah. Got all the hats. Dro- dropped a dropped a video. Dropped a promo video on his on his thing. And all Hell that. yes. What were the other? What countries did we beat? So uh, mainly, your main contender was England, but he could have done uh, he could have done Nigeria too. Bro, and Beach about to do that with basketball. He might just start playing for France. <laughs> Huge. Doc it's, Rivers it's, got it's fired. Huge for you as soccer, though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything Did you see what uh, the special teams coach of the Cowboys said? No. Uh, they were asking about like should they replace their kicker, and he said we will look for liter- we will choose literally anybody else on earth. Yeah, <laughs> Which, love it. Yeah. That's hilarious. It's like Mike Leach when he found his kicker uh, during a halftime uh, comp- kicking competition. Yeah. yeah. Literally chased the kid going off the field. It's like you're my kicker now. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. What he end up doing? He, I think he didn't miss an extra point for like the next two years. Oh, well. probably like ten kids on every major college campus that could be just as good as the kicker. Yeah, I, probably more than that. Well, like everyone on the soccer team. Yeah, true. The um, I love that too. Whenever like a football coach, uh, or no, be usually a basketball coach will get pissed that his team's not tough enough, and it'd be like open tryouts and like bring in some of the football players. Just yeah, every, just like everyone's six two roster. guys to hack people. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's roster's open. 
That's fucking funny. Has there ever been a kicker who's made an impact based on their non-kicking skills in football? George Blanda? Like, what do you mean, KB? Like, how? Like, they got called into the game in some other capacity? Sebastian Janikowski. McAfee. He smoked crack. McAfee made some tackles. Yeah. yeah. Threw a couple passes. George there Blanda. Is. That's it. There she goes. He's a quarterback as well. Who's that? What? Huh? What's KP? saying? Oh. TJ, do you Same. have the picture of a KB there meditating? <laughs> KB, you just do it in Washington Square so, Park. So I got two people sent me different angles do of you doing this. Oh, here. Oh. For the yak. Oh. Where is that? I make it in the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, over here. Is that your mask? Does it have a Ali Boothroyd, and I make it like halfway before falling asleep. What's Ali Boothroyd? Yeah. What is that? Is that good? Well, oh, it's a, is that a name? I your fucking arm. I know. Each of your so body jam. parts are a microcosmic star. Every time you inhale, your body fills with luminous nectar. <laughs> and I always <laughs> fall asleep at that. She gets starts going off about luminous nectar. You haven't made it past luminous nectar? No. What the hell? Try it. Brandon, need, Brit, you need it. Because I was like you. Why don't you get the mask and have him do it right now? Why do you always use me as the example? Because I, I, I'm, I was like you for all my life, just permanently thinking, on edge, worried, excited, even. I mean, Brandon, you get like stress rashes on your face weekly, and you get. I took care of that. I finally found the steroid cream that took. Do launcher. Yeah, it wasn't. You were wrong. It wasn't that. But you're still stressed, even if the cream is not. Well, I'm a busy guy. I'm not stressed. I, I feel. I feel good. I feel comfortable. Cream isn't unstressing you. The way you said that, you hear the stress in your voice. Yeah. yeah, he's got so much stress. Now you're now you're tweeting me about your crosswords and the cold showers. Yeah, Wait, you tweeted him. You tweeted Brandon again. Yeah, trying to motivate you. Did you tweet at Brandon? Tweet my unbelievable scores. <laughs> he said that the the cold showers wouldn't help him do the the. Yeah, they were problems. saying that. It I never said any, that. Nobody was saying any that. cognitive True? benefits. I never said that one time. Everybody was saying that. <laughs> uh, TJ, we pull up that tweet, but don't show the replies. Oh. Brandon, what? you got to get your cold showers going. All right. I'll do a cold shower tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Dear Mets, on Thursday I'm bringing 54 eighth, eighth grade students to City Field to watch you play baseball. If I have to literally get on my knees and beg you to win that game, I'll do it. I need you to win for me, for them. Please, please, love always, Lauren. Please. Scroll. Oh, God, I already know where this is going. Uh, I have a feeling. <laughs> 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 Fleming. <laughs> what an awful <laughs> <laughs> They should let him teach a, a class. They should. About, like, how no one deserves anything happy. Be a good teacher. Who the fuck just has 54 eighth graders? Yeah, that's a that's shitload a, of eighth graders. It's too many. Yes. That's probably, like, three classes. It's probably, like, a grade. They will lose. Why'd you get Jerry Oh, Cologne? it's a school. It was a fa- favor for favor. Oh. He got me a table at, uh... Can you say what happened last night? Because he's getting someone fired from getting Carbone. Getting someone fired. He's gonna get someone fired what? from Carbone. He. T- so Jerry got me a table at Carbone. I got him uh, a fragrance as a thank you gift. Uh, just looking out, and uh, he texted me during dinner. He said, "Get the Snickers cake." I was like, "Sounds great." And then he texted me again. He said, "Don't leave until you get the Snickers cake." So I uh, called over the garçon, the waiter, and I said, your finest Snickers cake, please. And he snickered at me and said, <gasps> we don't have a Snickers cake. <gasps> what? Like, Jerry, they're saying they don't have a Snickers cake. He's like, well, it's the, it's the cake with, like, the peanut butter sauce on it. And I was like, do you have something with, like, a, a peanut butter sauce? And uh, he was like, no, we don't have anything like that. And I showed him the text from Jerry, and he was like, yeah, we literally don't have those ingredients. And so I got in today, and Jerry looked at me, and he's like, you didn't get the cake, did you? And I said, I, I explained the saga, and he's like, I'm going to get someone fired right now. He called up Carbone. He called up his guy, and uh, the guy's like, I'm going to fire someone. <laughs> Wait, so they have it? <laughs> they have this They they have this cake? I don't know. He's like, we're going to fire this guy. So the one guy, the one waiter just didn't know? I don't know. Maybe there was there was uh, he wasn't. I wasn't saying it by the right name, or I wasn't listing the ingredients correctly. Do you but think Jerry might have set you up to get snickered at. I mean, no, because because I had just got in the uh, the. I mean, this is a great cologne that I got him. That's why you get him the thank you present to kind of as a fail safe against against this. But uh, Damn. I got I got fucked. It was. So would you be okay if this guy got fired? 
He was so nice otherwise. You need to understand that he p- deserves it. I mean, yeah, he probably talked about you after you left. What, in a, like a making fun of way? Yeah. <laughs> this guy asked for a Snickers cake at Carbone. Yeah, what is this, BK? He <laughs> 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 at me. I thought I was going to have it my way, but... You think the waiters there are millionaires? <laughs> they have to be. They yeah. wear tuxedos. They wear red tuxedos. Why would you wear a red tuxedo if you weren't a millionaire? True. Yeah. So billionaire. There's a chance Jerry got a cake... And was like, ooh, this tastes like Snickers. He said he gets it every time. And Kate heard the conversation with his guy. He said, we, like, yeah, this is the Snickers cake. Like, we always get the Snickers cake. The guy knew immediately what Jerry was talking about. It sounded like yes. he was, like, very aware right away. Oh, yeah. Like, Can we go to Carbone's website and look at the menu? Yeah. He was at, he was at Carbone last week. Yes. Yeah, next to Justin Bieber. That's what I mean. That's why he, he really? Yeah. He told me. Damn. He was insistent that I get the Snickers cake, and you—you you were made to look a fool. Yeah, I don't know who's culpable, but I did feel silly. We wound up getting the cheesecake. Oh, which it was fine, but it wasn't the Snickers cake. Is that it? There's got to be uh, no d- oh, another dessert. dessert menu. I'm interesting. Oh no! Looks like someone's getting wrongfully mm. fired. <laughs> Do you get the Hong Kong location? Maybe Jerry was in Hong Kong. No, not, we're not at the <laughs> Mickey Mouse. It's one. not even a. Dessert, the Mickey Mouse did they one. give you a dessert menu? Brought out a, des- a different dessert menu. Is, does lunch have a different dessert menu? Maybe he was there for lunch. There's no dessert menu. You can't find a trace of anything Snickers related at Carbone. I think Jerry said. Call. Up. Let's call. Do you want to call? Yeah, call him. What if Chet Hanks is working there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah remember, we got to say li- we're live on the air. Yeah. Not New York. Not if you're calling a New York spot. Oh, okay. It was the just do it. That was in L.A. It's a one. It's a yeah. No, don't call. Don't, I don't, don't want to lose my carbone. No, privilege. we're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're just gonna say, hey, like I'm about to be. Spin the wheel to see who has to talk. Spin the wheel to see who has to talk. Easy. Hi. Oh no. Spin the wheel to see who has to talk. We're calling to see what desserts they have. I have a question about the menu. Do you guys do a Snickers cake? I have a picky toddler. All right, Sash, you'll like cheesecake. Is there anything chocolate and peanut butter? Sash, you got this. I'm gonna have to be the one. Yeah. Terrible at this stuff. You just did it. I'm gonna get stage fright. Got this. Wow. Can I talk about high noons? Yes. Yeah. High noon. If you're a tequila lover who is never satisfied with malt hard seltzer offerings, you are going to love new high noon tequila seltzer, a premium hard seltzer made with real tequila and real juice. It's got a clean finish because it's made with real blanco tequila. Only 100 calories, gluten-free, and no added sugars. High Noon Tequila Seltzer is now available nationwide in four bright, crisp flavors. Strawberry, lime, grapefruit, and passion fruit. I like to have like a, a, a eight-pack in my fridge so I can at any time have a little bit of one because they're the perfect pregame drink to me. I like to start my night with a high noon tequila seltzer because after that you can go any direction. There's literally limitless options for you and you can look for them at Drizzly or at your local liquor or convenience store or visit highnoonspears.com to find it near you. World of t-shirts buzzed his head. Hmm. Hold up. What? Yeah. You guys have been giving him some buzz, bro. You guys have been putting him on. Buzzed his head and... uh. Michael Quinn, the guy that r- arranged the peace deal between um, W.O.T. and Daniel Larson, right. has been TikToking about somebody else now. Oh, I do think Roan. Have there's you seen? a chance one Frank Fleming. Oh, I've heard about I've heard about his relationship. Ooh. I think there's a chance Nick and KB have a secret bet how many shows in a row they can bring him up. I I I like hearing about it because it's one of those. Interesting characters that I'm not going to look up myself. But yes, the oral tradition is kind of eclipsing the uh, right. the amount of content that there is about him. They keep me up to date. It's like a day. It's like a, if the playoffs were going on. He's at his peak and he's doing this on a daily basis. Got it. So how long can he keep his peak? That's what we're wondering. No, but we because we talked about him like eight months ago. Yes, and that he was, was at his peak then. That was the first on World of T-shirts. Yeah, he was at his peak at the time. Oh fuck. I'm on the world. Wait, t-shirt. we're on there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, is that is that? Oh, that's funny. No, on no, no, the no. bar. That's an old. Uh, that's an old picture. My friend once did that. It was very funny. We were sitting in a booth, drunk after the Rose Bowl, and I was sitting 
he was sitting across from my other friends on the inside of the booth. So he couldn't get out, and he just started pissing in the other guy's lap. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life because he couldn't get out. <laughs> Funny to do in college. Yeah. Uh, we were out of college. Yeah. Yeah. It was like five years out of college. <laughs> Damn. Pissing on your boys. I mean, we were all fucked up, but it was still. Yeah. Just to imagine just like sitting there and just all of a sudden there's just piss coming into your lap. Yeah, it's hilarious. tough because like if it if it's even on the outside of your leg, you can be like, oh, someone pissed on me. Yeah. If it's in your lap, you're yeah. like, no, this is someone else. No, he pissed pee. directly into my other friend's lap. Into his penis hole. Yes. <laughs> like and the chaos power. That, that happened was. That's truly horrifying. Oh, it's so funny. People are. You would have laughed, Ron. I would have laughed. I would have. That's. Pee, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've who hasn't who among us hasn't peed on our boys' dicks? Yeah, I had a guy at a rugby party at IEP. I was talking to him at a party out back in the yard, and my feet started to feel warm. And I looked down, and he was just pissing on you. Feet, yeah. and I had a crush on him. Oh no! And yeah, and all the other guys were laughing, and I. Didn't make oh him, no! Right, crush harder. Hey. No, and that kind of killed it. I was like, I think. I think maybe this guy's making fun of me a little bit. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's the meanest thing I've ever heard. It was very mean. That he was making fun of you? I don't know. The guy was peeing on him. He was peeing on, on my feet. I'm pretty sure. Kate had a crush yeah. on him. Yeah. You didn't notice his dick was out? Uh, I mean, we were, like, talking. Like, and I, I don't know how I didn't notice it. I mean, I was pretty drunk. The, the tragic time, beginning of a teen comedy. Yeah. yeah. I got to go do the Pat Bev show. Go do the Pat Bev show. Go do the Pat Bev show. Yeah. Brandon, are you still close with, like, Tony Khan and MJF and everything? Yes. Have you? Are you going to break the news? Of, of what? The one point five billion dollar five year deal they have with HBO Max. Oh my God! You didn't my, break that. Are my source is better than yours. The are my source is better than yours. <laughs> is that even out yet? Huh. I have not said that. Did you? Do you know about this? Well, I've been on shows for a couple of hours, so I haven't been able to look at the. News. Oh no, Brandon! How do you not break that news? I don't Nick? because I don't think it's anywhere online. Oh, so can we break that? Please put breaking news from the Yak account. Can I at least text him up and ask him? 1.5? I think it's about 1.5 bill, five years, Time Warner, HBO Max. Wow. Oh, Nick. Yeah. You're like the Woj or Sham. Where'd you hear that? I have a guy on the inside. Uh, inside of what? AEW. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Is it anywhere online yet? I'm sure it is. That's where you got it. No, it's not. One point five billion dollars, HBO years. Max. Yeah. It's like the, why am I asking him questions like <laughs> okay. you probably want to get the details because he clearly has. I mean, the whole library or just their future streaming? The whole library. I, I'm, I'm imagining. Hoping they would get their whole library on something. No, they've only teased. Uh, yeah, February second, they're considering their own streaming service. Yeah, I believe it happened. Should be. I mean, unless my source isn't good. Which we all know that's not true. That can't be true. Cannot be true. Okay, I understand that you you were able to to look and see when Scotty Tuhati had testicular cancer, but how did you cultivate sources to where you're getting news? It's called working. hard work. Yeah. Right. You like crazy. the first one breaking this to the world? I think so. Wait, oh, nice. What? Oh shit. Oh, no, that was all right. <laughs> what? Tuesday was tricky. You just did that now? Yeah, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah, I'm just like in the that world now. Yeah. But Kyle, yesterday, huh. it's crazy how fast you've established yourself as like the guy too. The preeminent wrestling mind Jesus. at Barstool Sports. And how's Brandon's mom doing? Well, good. Um, flogging around yeah. in her Burks. So, <laughs> I got a, t <laughs> I got a text this morning from my mom. Mm -hmm. From Mama? Yeah, from Mama, and it said, "I just want to read it to Nick now that I'm." All right. Legitimate question. She's she texted me this at eleven forty seven. Did we talk last night? I took a sleeping pill and don't remember. Also, please ask Nick if he called me. I vaguely remember talking to someone else. <laughs> Did you talk to my mom last night? So <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, what? <laughs> I was in Tribeca. I was uh I got Pasillos and I was feeding the ducks the mortadella that I didn't want. Sure. And I was just like, This is a great scene and i just like snapped her a picture <laughs> and uh then i called her and i was like did you see the picture of i'm feeding the ducks more to Della? was she was, did she answer she was groggy she was loopy yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i just thought it was cool yeah. you've literally stolen his life i have yeah 
I don't understand the mom part. Like wrestling, I, I got, but you, no, the mom part's the best part. Yeah. And she's like texting you, being like, "Did I talk to you or Nick?" You took her easily, and you didn't put up a fight. <laughs> oh, oh no, it was the well, she didn't put up a fight. It's a problem, and I you didn't need to. That's because you're just looking for more friends. I yeah. I didn't. I, no, I didn't talk to her last night. I did. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell her that was that. How long was did Nick. you guys talk for? Uh, a minute, maybe. Oh yeah. Tell her, she tell her than that Brandon and his mom. I'm guessing Call this her was on around. Sunday? She she went to bed with a sleeping pill, so I'm guessing this was around eight o'clock Eastern. It was like at sunset. Yeah. Nick, did you call her on Sunday? I texted her. Okay. But like one of the uh, the gifts of like somebody mouthing "I love you," like it was like a <laughs> I don't know, it was like a glittery heart with like a bear peeking out. Did you call her, Brandon? I Facetimed her with the kids, and all the kids got to talk to her. Nice. She's excited about the move to Chicago because she feels she'll be able to get to Chicago a lot easier than she gets to New York. Mm, it's probably true. It's a nine-hour drive as opposed to 16, so. That's oh, a yeah. lot easier. Yeah. So, quicker flight. I'm buying her a car right now. It's a quicker flight, oh, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Huh? Kind of car. Quicker yeah. flight. Yeah. Yeah. Car. What's that flight? Uh, probably an hour. Yeah. Drive to Memphis, an hour flight from Memphis to. Oh, yeah, I've done Memphis to Chicago. Yeah. It's only an hour to Memphis? Uh, a flight? Uh, oh, no, well. it's it's about an hour and a half drive from where we are. Oh, that's not bad. No. You probably wear red tuxedos at the Memphis prom. Yeah, Local maybe. Proms. I don't. I mean, I'm sure Memphis has a lot of different problems, a lot of different decorum, a lot of different. But that's where you'd find it. Yeah. Did you guys wear a funny tux to your prom, or did you just wear a straight tux, black? Straight tux, black. A fucking Nike hat. Um, Wick style. I had a World of Warcraft raid that night. <laughs> <laughs> was that the Leroy prom where you drove? Jenkins. Oh? Is that the prom where you drove? That was homecoming. Oh, homecoming. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was homecoming uh, when prom was happening. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he stole his mom. That's so great. Josh Richards is here. Ja Ray. It did happen. Tommy's going to be so excited. Our boy. Told me, Tommy, our told boy. Me Yo, what's up? Hours what's before, up? and he was pumped. What's up? Really? He was like, Josh Richards is in town this week. You see Kelly came out announcing anti-kids. I'm blogging it right now. I'm going to shit, shit all over. Good. She's a mom hater. She's a mom Kelly hater. Keeps. Big time mom hater. I mean, you just announced you were taking my mom like last Thursday. Yeah, and it happened that How long does it took him for somebody maybe to take a mom? two hours <laughs> to take your mom? <laughs> what happened faster? He took, Nick took Brandon's mom or the Nazis taking, what was it, the Sudetenland? I don't it know. It was about the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, so this was a true blitzkrieg. Mm-hmm. Nick took your mom faster than I could get my piss stream going on the way home from West Virginia. I took his mom faster than Sasku put his balls in a cup. And Dick. And Dick. Fat Dick. The dick was in there. Barely. You fat ass Dick. Hanging out. If you <laughs> if you ever piss in the cup and you just put your balls in, <laughs> forget to put the dick in. <laughs> oh, damn it. All over your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Again. I think Nick is a great son to your mom. It's not the worst thing that's happened. Like, I, yeah, you shouldn't fight it. No, I'm, I haven't. I haven't played defense at all. No, and I can't. One at a time. Can't take his mom. But there's nobody left. There's Wait, only why one. can't you try to take his mom? Uh, I couldn't take his mom. I could try to take his dad. Uh, his dad would be easier than his mom. Nah, nah. You you had a thing when your shoes were still at his place. Yeah, <laughs> you could have always gone back and got them. Yeah. Left your shoes there? Left a couple pairs. I stayed at his dad's place for eight days once. With his dad? Oh, his dad wasn't in town. He let me have his apartment for eight days. It was last summer when I was trying to move and it was everything was a disaster. Well, whatever eight. happened with that? Weren't you, you you weren't even supposed to be here, right? Oh now. yeah, you're not supposed to be on this show. My landlord died, remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well you had like a whole stream of very unfortunate wow. Yeah, no. Brandon is a dark cloud. Yeah, yeah. Dead, dead. No, it's all good now. Uh oh, oh don't mm. say that. Today is the day. <laughs> it's no, it, it. I got all of that mix last year where my dad died and then my stepdad died, and then I was moving to a new place and the landlord died, and so I didn't have the place anymore. And I just, Death. I was all my stuff was in a storage facility in northern New Jersey. We didn't have a place to stay, so I put my kids down in Mississippi, and I, I stayed in his dad's place for eight days until we could figure things out, and it worked, and it was very, very helpful. My mom's never let you stay somewhere for eight days. Do you know that? Yes, I do know that. You're right. You just started trying to get her like last Thursday. I said. I'll get there. Oh, I'm down in Mississippi, and the hotels are just so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> just want a home cooked meal. 
<sighs> waiting out in the rain. <laughs> Mama, will you let me in? Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. To be honest, the wrestling thing bothers me way worse. Oh, I know yeah, that. Yeah. We know that. Way worse. And the problem is Nick is really good at it. Like, really good at it. I don't it. understand. I, is that on the internet right now? The no. What do you think you're better than him at when it comes to wrestling? Well, I have more of a history with it. I, uh, I can speak more from a fan's perspective. Or just uh, in life. Sure, right. Him but like, anything? I think I'm a bit more marketable because the WWE right now is trying to get people that aren't wrestling fans into wrestling. So people that aren't into it can hop on with me and be on this journey together. There's no playing catch up. There's no cliff notes needed. Just join me. But yeah. You, yeah. But you're not doing anything. You're not. You haven't. You don't have a show. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did have a meeting yesterday with somebody that shares the same name as I do. Mm. Yep. And just be on the page. Keep refreshing. We got an interview coming out. <laughs> if you do a right, <laughs> you, you had a meeting with Nick Bono. Mm-hmm. Why? We got a we got an interview scheduled. With who? Uh, uh, there's a YouTube page I want you to check out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> okay. Now that's did you take my mom. Sure, don't take don't take this. Uh, my favorite thing I do, and I don't, they don't even let me do it. All right, it's good. It's good. I gotta go talk to Nick. I need you to. Have <laughs> questions for me to ask. He's freaking out. Ja Ray. Ja Ray. So oh, so tense. Caitlin. So tense. I'm being dead serious too. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. He's tagged in the tweet that you found out about. I this. know. <laughs> <It's just laughs> gone. He's literally tagged. Oh, that's how you found out. Oh, oh boy. Hasn't looked there yet. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. Right in front of his face. Here, can I delete that. Delete that tweet. It delete the Yeah, you got you gotta delete, delete that, it, dude. Delete it, delete it, delete it. Also, I don't know I don't know how he didn't know about this. This is like a couple days old. Oh. It's not this tweet, but this news. This news? Jeez. Mm. Brandon's sleeping. He's snoozing on it. Do we do he doesn't, he doesn't know that by me doing this, he's he's going to get his show back. Yeah. No, you're help- no, this helping. No, this is. Helping him. Yes. 100% are helping him. He is going to get, there's going to be a storyline, and then he'll get his show back. And then there'll be people be like, Nick, why would you do that? You helped him. Yeah. You helped him. Absolutely helped him. And then maybe you'll get a show, too. Do wrestling shows? Yours will outchart his. Who's to say? What are you going to say, Steven? I only gave Nick and uh, uh, Kate the Outback Reads. Saving paper. What's up? Brandon. Dog. Did you see Martha? On the cover? Mm. Yeah. Oh, so hot. She a baddie? Yeah. She was. She still a baddie, is, but right? she always was. She was always Prison baddie. time. Yeah. Baddie. Did you find Nick? That's a real hear me out. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't People think are so. are misusing hear me out. You can't have a hear me out if she's on the cover of the swimsuit. Yeah, yeah, she's no. 83. No, that's not a hear me out. You don't think? That's a hear no. me out, guys. No. Martha no. Stewart's a hear me out. You see, you don't, you do. If I came You in, saw her body in person, you would not react the same way you did as she was on the cover. It's a hear me out. Okay. If I hear came in, out. though, it was like I banged Martha Stewart, you guys wouldn't be like, ugh. Yeah. You'd be man. like, whoa. That's not a hear me out. Yeah, you're right. You're That's right. That's not a he- yeah, that is who not is, a hear me out. Who is a hear me out? Because no one will give me one. Angela Merkel. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Urkel, for sure. <laughs> yeah. For sure, hear me out. Sturdy. Sturdy. Lady. Yes. Because, like, if I came in, I was like, yeah, guys, meet my girl. <laughs> and Melissa you- McCarthy. Oh, yeah. She's really uh, funny. Hear me out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's a good one. She's that is really one. funny. Uh, she's one of my favorite actresses. Wait, let me see. Her. Yeah, that's a good one. Brandon? No. Yeah. I would have banged John Candy in a heartbeat. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. I feel like your hear me outs would be like a conventional, conventionally attractive guy. It would be. Like, oh, yeah. like, hey, what are you doing with him? Yeah. Hear me out. John <laughs> him. Yeah. Maybe would consider it. I know that's not what I usually would go for. Did you find Nick? I did. What did he say? He wouldn't give you up. 
Mm. He said you're you're working on something, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. You've taken my guy. Nick, Nick was my guy. Nick's a good guy to have. I just need one have. guy. Very I need one person that's in my corner and my corner alone. He has a lot right of here. connections. He does. Good TJ for a hot second. And TJ just flipped to Titus <laughs> in seconds. <laughs> seconds. Oh, Titus showed up. Of him. Quick switch. TJ just. I only got I, I got one person left, and yeah, I'm not Who? even gonna say their name. No, not Katie. Gonna say Katie. Oh, Katie. Yeah. Oh, she's been talking. Yeah. That's kind of Kyle's looking, person. Now. She looking yeah. around? Yeah. I've seen her. Maybe <laughs> I've been having around. her do some stats. Yeah. For me. Yep. She always did stats for you. That's not. A, she's not running my Instagram now too. Me too. Actually. Hmm? Yeah. You guys like Outback Steakhouse? Yeah. 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 The best. Love I figured it. as much. Love I figured it. as much. By now, you guys know we're all obsessed with Outback. We've been loving the new Great Barrier Eats mem- uh, menu. You don't want to miss these new dishes at Outback Steakhouse, including the Tasmanian shrimp, the lobster pasta, the prime rib and shrimp combo, and the Tim Tam brownie cake. Yes. Yeah, I daydream Outback about it. Outback Steakhouse even topped the famous Bloomin' Onion with Aussie cheese fries. I'm so, do, so ready to climb that mountain of Bloomin' cheesiness. And only on Tuesdays, check out the Tuesday Tails Special Outback Signature Steak, seasoned, seared, and grilled to perfection, paired with the Steam Lobster Tail, starting at $24.99. I think we just ate that, scarfed it. It's time to treat yourself to a trip with Outback Head to your local Outback Steakhouse to enjoy the Tuesday Tales Steak and Lobster Combo only on Tuesdays. Mm-mm-mm. Nick texted me and wanted me to ask you where you kept your car. I don't know what that means. So when I was going through all that, I had to have somewhere to park my car. Um, and I, I, I parked my car at his house for a month. It was this famous fun. motherfucker. Who is it? I don't know. There's a bunch of people with him. Wait, is, how do you know it's the guy that's famous? Mom yeah, Peter, he the seems woman. to be the one that's getting let in. Mom hater Kelly Keeks. Wait, can we cut to? Oh no, who is the leader? The woman. Yeah, who's in is charge it, here? Is that the famous person? Has to be. I think PR always goes first. Should I ask Kelly? Kelly, 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 Kelly. Who's who's this? Who's that? Look at their faces. You don't know who it is? Look at their faces. Who's on the schedule? Who is that? Oh, she knows who it is. No, she has no idea. Which means they must not be that famous. We've had some. We cut Today's it. been a good famous day. Wait, who else do we have? Joel McHale walked through. What? Joel, yeah, Joel McHale. McHale. used to love the soup. Really? He yeah, was community. one of my earliest crushes. One of my one. earliest crushes on the soup. Well, he walked through here. I love the a tight end Washington. for the uh, Huskies. Yeah. 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 Was he really? Yeah, good player. A couple of uh, swimsuit models walked Also, when he walked in, LaMare was like, oh, that's Joel McHale. I want to tell him something. And Joel McHale started walking, and LaMare like, started following him, and he was like, uh, and then just stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. I Is missed Joel McHale moment. still here? I don't know. Uh, he he came, interviewed, and left during Pick Central, so I doubt he's still here. Ah, damn it! People come here early. You got to be here early to see. There's a few guys coming in, and I saw on the schedule that I I need to nab a photo with. You have a schedule? We get you get the uh, ta- the people the talent that potentially could be coming in. Really? Yeah. God yeah. damn it, Marty! Oh. Uh, I got to start asking for pictures. I, uh, I never I asked. Know. They green screened it, so they could be anywhere. There's a few I've chickened out on that I have deeply regretted. Chase Crawford, I had to do it just to. He's such a hottie. Danny DeVito, I talked to him, but I, I didn't. Ugh. Yeah, you were looking, you were hanging around I that day. S- just I like waited just to see him in person. I just. I, I bitched out on somebody too. And Ron Ooh. Weasley. I can't remember who it was. I never get over Danny DeVito's a big. Ron Weasley was in? He was DeVito's in. pretty short. Have you ever seen. <laughs> Danny DeVito's, I mean, it's, it's pretty shocking. Short. Have you ever seen, have you ever yeah, listened you know to that. the episode? There's an episode of the Always Sunny podcast where Danny DeVito's coming on the, on their podcast. And it's, uh,. It's Charlie Day, Rob, and Glenn, mm-hmm. and Danny DeVito's like the guest that day, and he can't figure out where the studio is, and he goes up to this house that he thinks is the studio, and he knocks on the door, <gasps> and these random people, just, it's just a random house, and they stand to the door, and they're like, holy shit, it's Danny DeVito <laughs> <laughs> at our front door, and he like went in and like hung out with them for like 30 <laughs> minutes, and then went That's into awesome. the podcast. Yeah, imagine just opening your door and just Danny DeVito's standing there. Yeah. If I were famous, I think I'd do that shit all the time. Yeah. Just like knock on doors, be like, "Hey, oh, must be the I gotta wrong. take a shit." <laughs> yeah, his his story of like getting famous is fascinating. Just as he was on like one episode of Taxi, and there was only he had like a thirty second cameo, and there was only like three shows then, so like eighty million people were watching it live. And he's like, "You just wake up the next day, and you're like an A list celebrity." 
That's nuts. That yeah. Crazy how that works. Um, was it Carlton you chicked out, chickened out of? Carlton, uh, I got multiple you got times. Ca- oh, you got Carlton multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. Yeah. yeah, he's been here a lot. Carlton has. I've gotten yes. a picture with Carlton. There was someone here that you left the Yak Studio to go to go take a picture with. That was Carlton. That was Carlton. Yeah. Even though you have him a bunch, what are you collecting? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. I got Kane, Jerry Rice. You 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 hooked up Jerry Rice for me. Remember that? Yeah. And Jerry Rice act, asked me for the picture. It was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I I don't remember who I chickened out of. I don't remember if it was an athlete or an actor. Hmm. There's been some big ones. T Grizzly. I wish I got a Don Johnson with. maybe because I did chicken out Don Grizzly. Johnson. Yes, you did. Grizzly. Yeah. The Grizzly man. Yeah, he yeah, he did uh, most dangerous game or not most dangerous. He did about a million dollars worth of game, oh, like a while cool. ago. He's awesome. I chicken out on Snooky every single time. Oh, man. every single time. He seems like the most approachable. I know. Of Easily. Yeah. I know. Easily. But I uh, yeah, I always panic. Did you spin the wheel, TJ? Did you spin that shit. Marky Mark was here. Uh, we're set for a date, by the way, for Kate's date with Frank. Frank and and Kyle. When when are we doing? Uh, oh, barter blitz. Barter blitz. blitz. It involved something with seeing if we could barter an item on the just on the streets of New York. And see. Ooh. Oh, speaking of, right behind you, KB, a lady yacker sent in a lady yak named Judy. If you could highlight that, really. Other quick. name wheel. Cute as a button. This is. The wheel just gets hit every day. I just wanted to yeah. highlight that someone was nice enough to create that and send it in. Very nice. Wait, wait what is the Yak Yak Award? Who is Judy? Ju- they just sent it in from a. Sm- I looked up the address. It's a tiny little house in Oklahoma that does that fixes up crafts and makes them fancy. And oh, we we'll get to uh, yeah, it's some fun. Shay. For that, we still gotta go bowling. No chance he remembers what that means. Let's trust in the... Oh, trust the data. P- the wings oh, tread challenge is not good. I think I could tread for a long... I don't know. Maybe not anymore. Oh, What's p- purr? He has no idea. I don't remember. What's tread challenge? <laughs> I think we all tread. Okay, so what's an expensive item that someone would be willing to sacrifice for barter blitz? Mm. There's Judy. Or not expensive. Shout out to the lady hackers, though. Not on that, l- not like down there. Hmm. So we have an item and we try to trade it? Oh, the best no. Best item possible. What? P E R R is Ped Egg Relay Race. So. What? We have to, do you know what Ped Eggs are? It's the, it's like a, pu- a pumice stone, but it captures all your dead skin in the. For the bottom of your foot. Yeah. yeah. So the goal of this is. Um, <laughs> oh no! When, uh, when you have to. Yeah, well, no. did you think of no. this? You have to pet egg your foot and then fill up a cup until it gets to the bottom line, or like we'll, we'll make a line that's that's a little bit smaller than that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Do that? No. And, and it's like that is so. Wow, you, dude. So bring in two pet eggs. Wow. Uh, we should probably all get her. They're like ten bucks, but yeah, I'll, I'll order them. Order, yeah. So we all have to do it until we get to a certain line. <laughs> yeah. We're filling up a cup with our <laughs> dead. That's our race, not a relay <laughs> race, though. How, is we're gonna yeah, be how's the? No. It was. Uh, That's unwatchable. I guess we could. We could. Do, yeah. Let's do it in teams because individually it'd be it'd be too difficult. <laughs> so we should keep dumping our dead skin into a common <laughs> cup. <laughs> yes. That's nasty. Yeah. Why? Why did you think? I'll just that? horrific. I mean, we're gonna you do guys it. Want, you guys wanted some bad stuff on the wheel. This was not. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. trying to do it. Yeah. What does the loser have to? Stuff? Yeah. Like eat the dead skin. Loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. I didn't write that part, but uh, we can figure it out. <gasps> Maybe put it in a smoothie. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Absolutely not. No. I'm in. Dude, Cannibalism. Yeah. I'm in. There's got to be some prize. Shades of Joey for bringing something. They're all singing on the stairs. I believe this is a TikTok, TikTok trend. Game. Guess who's actually singing? Oh, uh, seen it a while ago, like a year ago. I'm so bad at it. I haven't never gotten, gotten it yet. It's very hard. Headache relay. You're all right, Reek Che. In the show? Yeah, why not? Oh, you gonna get the pet eggs? Yeah, I'll order the pet eggs. Hmm. Just go buy two. 
I don't think that these are. I, I think it's like an as seen on TV product. I don't think that they're. Oh. You a damn freak. I like it. Tell the story about the pet egg that I had. No. Oh, so I um, they're basically like cheese graters for your feet. <sighs> So, oh, but the bottom of it, so the top is a cheese grater and the bottom is shaped like half an egg. So it's circular. So I was trying it out and I did it and you know, there's a little skin or whatever. So I, I was attempting to get rid of it. So I blew in it, but in a curved fashion, it just went all in my face. Oh. It was disgusting. Oh, so yeah, we'll, we'll all get to enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds fun. Sounds like a great the time. The loser has to uh, LeBron James it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, out on out on the street. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh. But the, the, you have to pick <laughs> your team. It's a vote. Yeah. Who has to go out yeah, LeBron yeah. I will go four on four, pet egg challenge. Okay. Great call. Okay. See everyone tomorrow. Maybe we'll do pet eggs. You can just go buy it at a store. Yeah. Buy it at a store tomorrow. Dwayne Reed probably has them. Uh, I'll check. I'll check with Dwayne Reed. Okay. I'd be surprised if they these are. Okay. All right.